When I look at quality time with myself, what does that mean? It means present, focused, connected time. Time where I'm listening to myself. Time where I'm in communication with my body, with my mind, saying, what do you need right now? What do you want? This is the deep dive with Adam Roa. Which is interface. And when you understand your love languages, you understand how to love yourself and someone else better in a way that is uh, able to be received instead of trying to fit a, a round peg in a square hole. And so think about your relationship with yourself through the lens of those five love languages and know that all five of them are important. So how much physical touch are you giving yourself? How much, um, how many words of affirmation are you giving yourself? What are the acts of service to yourself? What are the gifts you give yourself? What is the quality time that you spend with yourself? Make no mistake, there is a big difference between being by yourself and spending quality time with yourself. Notice I, I said it different. Spending quality time with yourself, not by yourself. Because if I am sitting on a couch by myself and I am eating junk food and watching mindless television, scrolling social media, that's not quality time. How do I know that? Would I enjoy someone that I cared about who was supposed to be spending quality time with me doing that? If I invited over a girlfriend and she was just on her phone the whole time, not paying attention to me and just watching TV and scrolling through social media, think about all the stereotype of all you women who've dated a man who's into video games. Is it quality time for him to be sitting down playing video games for several hours while you just sit there and watch him play video games? Do you consider that quality time? If you do, awesome. Dudes who are into these video games, go find one of those women. But for most of the people that I've spoken to, those are that's not quality time. And so therefore, when I look at quality time with myself, what does that mean? It means present, focused, connected time. Time where I'm listening to myself. Time where I'm in communication with my body, with my mind saying, what do you need right now? What do you want? And then I do those things. Maybe that's playing guitar. Maybe that's stretching. Maybe that's just sitting and, and looking out at the trees. Maybe that is getting on a call with a friend and saying, wow, this is something that I want to give to myself is, is the connection of friendship from someone else. However it looks. And gifts, as an example, when's the last time you gifted yourself something you didn't need? It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't even have to cost you any money necessarily. What's a gift that you could give to yourself? Not something that you need, like I need a new body wash, so I went and bought it. <laughs> but just something extra. I'm gonna treat myself to this. I deserve this. I'm gonna spoil myself a little bit. These ways that we look at showing up for other people that we're in relationship with, through these five major love languages. How are we showing up in each of them for ourselves? Mm -hmm.